Beautiful, funny and charming. The Corgi is an amazing companion dog, but technically there is no such thing as the Corgi because these sweet tempered little dogs came in two separate breeds, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And in this video, we're gonna discuss the fascinating history of both Corgi breeds. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Corgi and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Corgi. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Corgi, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll begin with the history of the older breed of the Welsh Corgi, the Cardigan. This delightful dwarf breed is said to be one of the most ancient dog breeds that exists on the British Isles. Allegedly, the ancestors of the Cardigan Welsh Corgi came to Wales around 1200 BC. They were part of the mass migration of the Celtic tribes from Central European to Britain. Interestingly enough, the dogs brought to Wales by the Celts were descended from a well-known hunting and companion breed, the German Dachshund. And just like their Dachshund ancestors, Cardigan Welsh Corgis are very rustic and hardy dogs. They owe their breed name to the medieval kingdom of Cardiganshire in Wales. Translated into modern English, the Celtic word corgi simply means dog. Historians strongly suspect that Cardigan Welsh corgis were used as herding dogs for cattle around a thousand years ago. In true healer style, the corgis would direct the herd by nipping at the cow's hind legs. In this way, they drove them from place to place. For example, from the pasture to the cattle market and back. At night, the fearless cardigans would guard the animals from cattle thieves, and over the century, these extremely versatile working dogs have also served as hunting assistants and family guardians. In the year 1931, the first cardigan Welsh corgis were introduced into the United States. Compared to the cardigan, the Pembroke Welsh corgi is a relatively young breed, whose origins reach back to around 1000 AD. Hey guys, I wanted to very quickly let you know, if you're not already, that you should absolutely be following us over on Instagram. There'll be links down in the description box below, but we've got multiple Instagrams. One for Fenrir, our company, where you can see all of the awesome things that we're doing over there. You could follow me personally over on Instagram, or maybe come and check out our journey with our 12-week-old English Mastiff puppy Eileen. Either way, can't wait to see you over there. The first dogs resembling modern-day Pembrokes entered Wales along with the Vikings. Descendants of the Nordic Spitz breed, Pembroke started off as an entirely different breed than the Cardigans. And yet they were utilised for similar roles. Just like their Cardigan cousins, Pembroke Corgi served as herding dogs, both for cattle and for sheep. The affectionate Pembroke Corgi became quite famous as the favourite dog breed of Queen Elizabeth II. Allegedly, she shared a home with over 30 Corgis. But the Pembroke has become even more popular in the United States than its native Britain. The American Kennel Club dogs, oh, distracted. The American Kennel Clubs list the dogs as the 13th most popular breed among the country's 197 officially registered dog breeds. Cardigans and Pembrokes were at one time freely interbred, and until 1934 they were considered a single breed in the United Kingdom. As we said before, the first cardigan Welsh corgi arrived in the United States in 1931. The American Kennel Club granted full recognition to the breed four years later. But in the early 21st century, both types of Welsh corgis gained their official status. Autonomous breeds. After being regarded as one single dog breed for thousands of years, the American Kennel Club finally recognised the cardigan and the Pembroke Welsh corgi as two separate breeds in the year 2006. The American Kennel Club recognition was the turning point for the history of the Corgi, because from here on, breeders were able to further refine the characteristics and make each of these lovable breeds unique. Both the Cardigan and the Pembroke Welsh Corgi are absolutely amazing companion dog breeds. Their small size and gentle nature makes them ideal pets for families, city dwellers and senior dog owners. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Corky videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Corky Show.